Boxing World, and welcome to another edition of Fantasy Bout Hour, the channel dedicated to bringing you fantasy matchups on a regular basis. If there's a particular matchup that you want me to cover, please leave it in the comments section, and I promise to honor your request. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell notification. The fight that I'll be covering in this video comes by way of request, and this is coming from Adari Pennant. Adari, I thank you for another good one, and I thank you once again for participating in the channel. The fight that Adari mentioned was Ike Behabuchi versus Lennox Lewis. Um, what an interesting one. Um, as far as I'm concerned, both of these guys are complete fighters. They can throw every punch from every angle. Both had great jabs. Both had tremendous power. So this is not the easiest one to analyze, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. You know, just knowing what I know about both guys. Now, I rarely go against Lennox Lewis in these hypothetical matchups. And um, to be honest with you, this video isn't gonna be any different because I just see him having the slight edge because of his jab, his reach, and his size. And Lennox Lewis was one fighter who knew how to use his size to his advantage, leaning on his opponents in close quarters. Um, brilliant maneuver. So, um, you know, Ike is tough. And um, this is the heavyweight division to where one punch can change anything or possibly end the fight. And so I don't know how Lennox Lewis's chin would hold up against Ike Abeyabuchi's power if he landed flush. I mean, it could be a different story. But overall, I just feel that Lewis has the edge in this one. Um, he could win by knockout. He could win by decision. You know, once again, this is the heavyweight division after all. But um, this is a fight that I would have loved to see back in the day. And um, I wanted to see more from Ike. But circumstances got in the way. I mean, that's life. It happens. But um, I just see Lewis having the edge because of his jab, his power, his timing, and his reach. Um, honestly, this could go either way. But if I just have to pick a winner, then um, it's Lewis. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you on the next video.